Aloha, this is Yemaya Renuka at the Embrace, providing trauma-informed mentoring to earth-conscious leaders and entrepreneurs so that they reach new levels of success, impact and abundance while protecting the earth, our beloved planet. Hi guys, well, it's been quite a week, would you say? Um, for me, I was um, in Santa Cruz with uh, 150 women um, learning to really craft our offering uh, to the next level um, with my business mentor, Sage Levine. So adding quite a, quite a journey in, uh, in entrepreneurship, you know, beside my 28 years of being a um, healer and um, um, business uh, owner in the healing arts. And um, wow, I just went through a major breakthrough. I don't know how it was for you, but I feel like, you know, like it's almost like I had a fever for like four or five days of um, an inner struggle that, um, that finally broke, like the fever broke yesterday um, at the very end. Actually, I was on my way back down and stopped for some time by the ocean and uh, just acquired crystal clear clarity. And you know, clarity is really underrated. There's nothing like it. It's like once, once you know, you know, once there is no more confusion or push and pull within oneself, you know, it's just like, whoo, it's a matter of just going straight forward. And um, I'm so happy to be able to infuse my work to you, with you, uh, with that crystal clear clarity. I also, before I do um, um, a few tarot cards for us today, a few oracle reading, I also want to invite you to a Facebook challenge I created and called PTSD, make it your ally, not your enemy. Because as you know, when you're working with trauma and the extra layers of shame around having been traumatized, you know, which is sad, it's like, you know, like, okay, not only you've been traumatized, but then there is this layer of shame and protection, um, you know, that is covering um, the inner victim, you know, and especially for us uh, strong souls, you know, that don't want to be seen as a victim. There's a lot of shame in claiming the fact that we have been hurt and perhaps there is still some nuggets of PTSD in our um, wiring, you know, and the more I work with really passionate, strong entrepreneurs and leaders, the more I realize how um, there is this part of ourself that we, um, that we gently protect and um, perhaps sometimes not always honored and that lack of honoring creates some self-sabotage in our choices um, and so I just want to make sure that you have an opportunity to work with me um, and really looking at the PTSD and how to turn it into our ally and not our enemy so if you want to jump into the Facebook group um, next week, it's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 6 p.m. Um, and it's going to be on the Embrace Deep Feminine in Action group. Okay, not on the Embrace fan page, but on the Embrace group where we, you know, like we really can work together and we've chosen to be there. So it's the Embrace Deep Feminine in Action group. So, yeah. That's, um, that's, I think, my message for you guys today. I want to pick some cards around um, really reclaiming, reclaiming the part of us that um, feel wounded and, um, and choosing ourselves over and over again, choosing ourselves, our visions, our dreams, and taking a bold stand for who we are and um, what our message is on this planet, our purpose, our clear purpose. So, Kuan Yin Oracle. Hmm, the Empress of Pearl, yes, yes, you know, she's the one who has turned the sand into a pearl, you know, using the, the grit of life and perhaps childhood adversity and trauma to create her beautiful offering. And then in the animal card, horse, power, and the power of the pack as well, which is very much what I experienced uh, working with this big group of women over the over the week you know like um, so I would say you know like make sure that you have a support system in place especially if you have your um, eyes on a on a deep beautiful purposeful um, you know earth loving goals 
make sure you have the proper support system with you, the power of the pack. And then, hmm, the sun dancers. So joyful activity, celebration of life and abundance. Yeah. So that's pretty much the message. Yeah. You know, like take, take what has been your medicine. How did you, did you survive your, um, your, your trauma, your challenges, and how are you still doing that? You know, and then surrounding yourself with, with the strength of a support of a tribe, of a mentor, you know, and finding that power within yourself, like standing really on your four-legged, if, you if you were four-legged, you know, it's like really like standing your ground, your stance in the world, and um, celebrating where you came from in, in um, joyful activity is helping you to bring the abundance that you desire for yourself, your life, your family, for our planet. There is so much resources here. We have all the resources to our fingertips. If we um, only clear the path and um, deliver our message, we have the power. We have the power to change, transform, and make a big difference on Mama Gaia and all her beautiful beast species and all of the um, less fortunate than us that are living, our brothers and sisters in countries that have so much less and so much hardship, we together can create the global family, the global movement. We have the power, we have the strength, we have the clarity, we have the love. So let, it, let us do it. Mm. Sending you much love and uh, pop back in on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week. I'm not quite sure of the dates, I'm sorry. I think it's like the 15th, yes, 15th, 16th, 17th of July, um, 6 p.m. on the Embrace Deep Feminine in Action group. All right, sending you much love, aloha.